Berlin by Night by M. Riff Chapter 77, Almas Azer sat at a table with a glass of tea, patiently waiting for Topaz. He had finished another glass of tea when she finally returned. She was dressed in traditional Uzbek clothing, with colorful garments and golden ornaments on her forehead. Azer asked, where did you get those clothes? Topaz, seeming more at ease, replied, I borrowed them from Almas, the cleaning girl. She was kind enough to take my dirty clothes to her mom for washing. They live nearby. She glanced at Azer's tea and remarked, I could use a cold beer. Azer signaled the waiter and ordered two Berlin. Topaz continued, Almas is really fluent in English. She's studying molecular biology at the university. The waiter placed the beers in front of them. Topaz took a sip and continued, We discussed the oppression of women. Guess what she told me? Azer shook his head, and Topaz went on, she said that all the mitochondria in the human body are inherited solely from the mother. Since the mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell, it could explain why there's a strong woman behind every successful man. She looked at Azer and asked, Do you grasp the significance of that? Before Azer could respond, Topaz answered her own question, I have no idea, but to me, it sounds incredibly profound. Soon, the waiter began setting the table for their meal. As he served the food, Topaz gazed at it and inquired, This looks delicious. What did you order? Azer replied, Grilled eggplant with kebab and rice. He added, Ethnic restaurants usually specialize in a few dishes to maintain authenticity. Topaz used her knife to pick up the last grains of rice, put it in her mouth, and leaned back, saying, this is the best meal I've ever had. I was so hungry. Almas approached their table, smiled at Azer, and hung Topaz's clean, neatly pressed clothes on the back of a chair. Topaz noticed the phone in the girl's hand and asked, Could I borrow your phone? I'd like to pay for the clothes. Almas smiled warmly, No need, you're my guest. Topaz insisted, I'd still like to borrow your phone, take a selfie in your beautiful clothes, and send it to some friends. Azer considered advising against it but refrained, instead addressing Almas, Gozalism. The girl blushed and smiled in response. Topaz took a few selfies from different angles and attached them to an email, sending it to a group. She followed Almas to the dressing room, changed back into her own clothes, and soon returned to the table. She fixed Azer with an intense look and questioned, What did you say to Almas? Azer leaned back and replied, I said, Beautiful name. Topaz then asked, What does her name mean? Azer responded, Diamond. As if revealing a secret, Topaz said with a hint of melancholy, When I was born, my entire family gathered to choose a name for me. They settled on Opal. My dad was sent to register the name, but he forgot it on the way. At the registration office, he had said it was a kind of Australian stone and I ended up being registered as Topaz. Topaz took a sip of her beer before speaking, from what I gathered, the Swedish woman mentioned that Almas and her family originally came from Aztecstan. Why are you so fluent in their language that you can even make remarks in it? Azer was on the verge of correcting her, wanting to mention that the country was actually Uzbekistan and not Aztecstan. However, he decided against interrupting Topaz. She went on in a slightly annoyed tone, during my school time in Australia, I only learned English. For me, learning Spanish has been a struggle, even after spending so many months in Spain. Meanwhile, you have spoken effortlessly to so many people in their native tongue. It is not fair. Without waiting for Azer's response, she finished her beer, stood up, and said, I should go wash my hands. With that, she headed towards the restroom. <laughs>